Okay, I hope, I hope that's in line. Sorry, I'm like, got my tripod set up with the iPad and it's kind of, kind of goofy. All right, I hope this is in view. And you guys can see the little travel wheel in action. So I know I'm a terrible spinner, but I'm brand new, so I guess I'm excused. So here we go. This is set on the slowest speed. I actually haven't even tried it, you know, moving the um, drive wheel towards the center hub on the flywheel yet to... Uh, have a faster ratio so I'll, I'll mess with that later today and then figure out the ratios like on the on the slowest speed and then the, you know towards the middle and uh, as close to the hub as I can get the little drive wheel to go but it kind of sounds a little bit like a sewing machine and I think it's because I have the, the wobble, the flywheel, the center hub is not exactly in the center of the flywheel. And that's because um, I ended up sanding the hub um, down a little bit to fit my bearings that I got on eBay. But I found some bearings locally that... Um, actually have a half inch ID which is the size of the steel rod that I used for my center hub on the flywheel so when I make my next wheel hopefully I do not have that same um, out of you know that wobble is gone hopefully and then I'll see if maybe it's a combination that my um, flyer might not be truly balanced either, so I don't know, I'll have to wait and see. I have a, a different design for a flyer that I think I'm going to try. I'm going to try one with uh, wood pins instead of the hooks. Let's see, I'm not even all the way on my hooks here. Anyway, um, I'll try that, and then I have another one where instead of using wood dowels, um, I use a aluminum rod and I don't know it should be stiffer at least and um, see how that does and decide which one I like best but anyway we'll go through a second roll egg here so you can see it's pretty easy to start and stop and I mean it treadles really nice um, it's not tiring at all. There's no like, well, I mean, you could put drag on it with the scotch tension, but uh, other than that, I mean, I have it set, the tension pretty light. I have found that I'm not a good enough spinner to increase the tension on my bobbin because it just sucks the uh, single in too fast for me and will either break it or. Um, you know, just suck it right out of my hands. I sure hope that all this is in the frame so you can see. If you hear a little clunk or a little, that's that's my uh, fault. I'm not like traveling evenly. It kind of bugs me a little bit, the noise. I'd like it to be quieter. Hopefully the uh, next one I make will be a lot quieter. It kind of does remind me of a treadle sewing machine though, the noise. I remember my great-grandmother using a treble sewing machine. She uh, 
did eventually uh, have it electrified. My great grandfather put a motor on it for her, but I think she preferred the treadle still. To me, there, there's just something about treadling that's so relaxing. Um, I wish the hubs would start spinning because to me, this is like a, a better wind down than sitting in front of the TV. Not that we watch TV. We really don't watch TV hardly at all. I mean, we watched last night because we're supposed to get this blizzard come through today. I don't know. Anymore, it just seems like the news just sensationalizes everything. And, uh, you know, I, I think they might uh, exaggerate a little bit just to boost some ratings there. But I will say, uh, Sandy, when Sandy came through, they, they were pretty much right on about that. Um, a lot of people lost power. We were really lucky. But there we go. Second roll egg. And um, I hope you could see everything. But anyway, see you later.